Hi everyone. Are you ready to talk about energy? Oh, I can see you're excited. Okay. What we're going to talk about is energy in a little different way. Now, you see, when pe when most people think of energy, they think of maybe lights in the on the street or they think of uh oh, that guy's got a lot of energy. Or that lady, athlete, she's got a lot of energy. Well, that could apply, but I'm thinking more along the line of a different. I mean, it's energy. That's all energy. But we're talking about two different kinds of energy. Potential and kinetic. Potential and kinetic energy. You say, what's the difference? Well, summing it up, potential is contained energy. Kinetic is energy in motion. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take potential. Potential is chemical. Chemical is involving petroleum. It's involving coal, natural gas. Those are potential for uses of energy. Okay? Then there's mechanical. You know, you've had a, ever played archery? You got that bow and arrow and you're aiming it back. Well, you're pulling back on that. Rib, or whatever you call that thing you pull back on, I don't know what they call it. And you, if you let it go, that arrow's going to fly. Well, pulling it back, that's potential energy. Or a rubber band to stretch, potential, potential energy. And then there's nuclear. Well, that's, that's a pretty big item. Nuclear is that atom. And splitting that atom and letting the power of the universe explode. That's nuclear. But it's all that nuclear is all contained right now because it's contained in that atom. How about gravitational? Hey, all you gotta do is sit under a tree and get hit by an apple from an apple tree, let it land on your head, and you go, ouch! And you just felt gravitational. Okay? Gravity. Then there's the electrical. What do I mean by electrical? Well, you need these things called batteries. They can contain some stuff inside which produces that electrical juice that goes into your into the radio. Electrical is contained. It's, it's contained in the battery. That's what you call it. All right. But what about kinetic? What about that energy in motion? Well, how about radiant? Now, I know you think that guy or lady has a radiant personality. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the sun and how it gives off those rays. X-ray, gamma ray, sun ray, sunlight rays. You see, when you walk outside, the sun's out, you can feel the sun coming down on you. That's because of the rays. There you have it. Radiant. Thermal. Well, thermal has a definition which can, which can get a little confusing, but I'm going to try it. Thermal says vibration and movement of atoms within a substance. Well, that's one way of describing it. It's also the movement is causing the energy. It's the atoms and molecules moving together. Now, if you go to a mountain and you're trying to enjoy a nice evening there may be a warm spring nearby where you can it may be 25 degrees outside but you can jump in and be 80 degrees see there is a uh, a body of water that's being warmed underneath by a body of warm spring water thermal it's a geyser like water it's geothermal it's underneath it's it's something that's causing that heat underneath that's thermal that's what that is okay then you got motion. I love the song, Poetry in Motion. Anyway, so I thought I didn't put the fun of it. Anyway, motion is energy stored in movement of objects. What do you think that is? Are you ready? Wind. The blowing of the wind. That's the movement of the objects. Yes, that's kinetic energy. And then there is sound well i'll tell you sound is uh something that we are all stuck with right it's considered the movement of energy through substances in longitudinal waves 
In other words, waves that are going like this. You know, like, mm, mm, mm. okay, you're in bed. It's midnight. You want to go to sleep. You're just about ready to go to sleep. And what happens? Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You're like, what? Yeah. Your neighbor just got home. And he got a pay raise. And he's ecstatic. He's in a good mood. And he cranks up the music. At midnight. But fortunately, he re realizes that he needs to turn it off. That sound is the example of another form of kinetic energy. And yes, he, he, he's, once he has a few minutes, he realizes, you know what, it's late. But see, sound can affect us. And it's therefore kinetic energy. So anyway, potential kinetic energy. Or potential chemical, mechanical, nuclear, gravitational, electrical. And then for kinetic, radiant, thermal, motion, and sound. What do you think? You don't like it? Well, I am hurt. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. If you have any questions, your teacher has all the answers. Later.